Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Just kidding. Okay, so today I want to talk about the QL, the Quadratus Lombarum. Most people have a tight QL due to lifestyle. So let me show you where it sits. Now, I don't actually have the QL on this model, but uh, let's see if we can get a close up here. So what I've done is I've put an elastic band where the QL attaches. Now it attaches to the bottom rib, attaches to the pelvis and also the lumbar vertebra. So you can see if this gets tight, it's going to pull you to one side and it's going to shorten up, tighten up and you're going to have a lot of lower back problems. You're going to be very tight if you try to stretch over. This causes a lot of other problems. So today I want to show you how to stretch it and do some deep tissue massage to loosen it up and get you feeling a whole lot better. The point of this stretch is to get the rib cage away from the pelvis and create that stretch, lengthening that muscle. Whichever side you're stretching, if it's your, your left side that's, got, that's tight, you want to take your left leg, put it 90 degrees behind you, your right leg 90 degrees in front, and then the same side that you're stretching, so for, for me it's the left side now, you want to take the left arm and stretch across and lean forward. You want to drive this pelvis down into the floor almost, creating a nice pull and then stretch over which lengthens that muscle and you can feel a deep stretch between your pelvis and your ribcage in your lower back and it's just stretching that QL nicely. So you can hold that for a few seconds, do it a few times a day, just lengthen it, get it more supple. Another stretch you can do, um, you can do this one if you struggle with that kind of stretch. If you can't uh, really lift your arm over, if you've got TOS, or if you're not supple enough to put your legs behind you, you can just sit with your legs stretched out in front of you. And we're gonna also stretch across. We're gonna take our left hand. If we're stretching our left side, we're gonna take the left hand, stretch all the way over and grab back of the foot. Wow, and that is quite tight. So you're gonna feel the same kind of stretch deep in the lower back, pulling because as you're leaning over and away, you're creating this, get, this space between your ribcage and your pelvis, which strengthens that QL, stretches that QL, sorry, and uh, it gives you that relief. So if you're struggling with your right side, you're gonna lean over and grab the back of your left foot and just hold it for a few seconds and you can feel that deep sensation of the QL stretching. And that's what you want because if you're leaning in your car and you're sitting skew, you'll find that over time, your QL gets short and tight and pay attention to what you're doing in the day because you'll find that you're leaning a lot to one side more often without realizing it. And if you try to lean to the other side, you're gonna find that it's very tight. And because your muscles are compensating, you're always leaning to one side, it shortens. So when you stretch it, you're gonna feel how tight that muscle actually is. Stretching the muscle is great, but the middle of the muscle is not getting worked at all. We're just basically stretching two ends. And what we wanna do is loosen up and do a deep tissue massage in the middle to loosen that muscle as well as stretch that muscle. And that's gonna help it overall to loosen up over time. Okay, to do a deep tissue massage and loosen up the QL, you wanna take a ball, relatively hard ball and between your rib cage and your pelvis you'll feel next to your spine you'll feel that tender area where your QL sits and just place the ball there and lean on it use a pressure that's not too hard but you can feel that tenderness but and it feels good it's a good kind of pain that loosens up so place the ball there and you can either just lay on it and move slightly up and down or you can put a little bit more pressure onto it and just roll it around in a circular motion, just getting all that tender area and you'll definitely feel it because it is a very sensitive muscle. When you put the ball in the right place and you're massaging it, you'll definitely feel. So the next thing you can do is combine the two to give you an overall better function of the muscle by stretching it and massaging it at the same time to get a little bit deeper stretch a little bit further and as you massage you'll find that it will loosen up slightly because you work in the center and it will loosen up to an extent where you can stretch a little bit more and this just helps 
get a lot better faster because it stretches that muscle, keeps that muscle memory, and you're just gonna feel a whole lot better. You lay on your side straight across, and whichever side is affected, for me it's my left side, so I'm gonna lay, lay on my right side, put my left leg as far back as I can go, and take my left arm and reach across, over and up, just to create that stretch all along. And you'll find that your QL stretches nicely, your oblique stretch nicely, and even a little bit of your psoas. You can feel a little bit of tightness if you're tight, mine's a bit tight, and I can feel it deep within my pelvis and in my obliques. So it's a good stretch, just to get a good stretch down your side and work all those internal muscles and stretch them properly so that your whole body functions properly and works as a proper kinetic chain as it should. From the stretch, you can keep that kind of stretch. It would help if somebody can help you, but if not, take your ball and you can just feel where your QL is. And when you get the ball in the right spot, you'll feel the tenderness. So what you can do is try stretch your left leg a little bit further back, lean over and just get in there. It really does help if you have someone to do this for you, but if not, it doesn't matter. It's a, it's a little bit more awkward, but you can still do it and getting in there and holding it, you can feel the muscle starts to loosen a little bit and it's a very, very sensitive muscle. You can actually feel that this stretch opens it up a bit. It almost feels like you're exposing that muscle a lot more and getting a deeper stretch. So when you put the ball on it and you start massaging it, you're getting a much deeper massage and loosening up those muscle fascia. Okay, so that's how to completely stretch your QL and how to massage it properly. And you can see there's various techniques. So if you're struggling with one, you can always do another one. Um, if you're struggling for any reason to do any of the exercises, just try something that stretches your rib cage away from your pelvis. That's basically all you wanna do to get that gap open and stretch that muscle. And you're gonna feel a lot better. You're gonna feel that your legs are going to be looser, your hamstrings will be looser, and it works up the kinetic chain. You're not going to be pulled down and weighed down by your ribcage pulling down, and it might aggravate your TOS, because a lot of people that have TOS um, neglect their QL because they don't realize that the body runs on a kinetic chain. So you've got TOS, your ribcage is tight, your serratus anterior gets tight, and then it just pulls more and more, and eventually your whole body is pulling to one side and feeling off balance. So just work on every aspect of your body, getting it functioning properly and moving properly. And if you're struggling with something like TOS or frozen shoulder or something where you can't move a lot, work somewhere else, work on your feet, work up your leg and just get everything else working properly and you'll find that you'll feel a lot better by working your feet and your legs and your lower back. You'll find that your shoulder and neck suddenly feel a lot better because everything's loosened and it's not pulling as tight. So please give this a try. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos and uploading a lot more content. So please subscribe and like the video and uh, I will see you guys soon.